Hey everybody, it's the Lotto King. I am here today to do a review of the Oprah That's Good Pizza. This has a classic crust with a twist of cauliflower. This is an uncured pepperoni pizza. Low moisture, part skim, mozzarella cheese, and uncured bacon. And it's made with real cheese, which is good. Or uncured pepperoni, excuse me. But it's made with real cheese, which is exciting. Um, per fifth of a pizza, we're talking 320 calories. Um, doesn't even talk about the carbs there. So let's go to the back and see what's in here. Um, carbs? 38 grams of carbs. Uh, that's if you eat a fifth of the pizza, which I'll probably eat the entire pizza, so I'm freaking going into a shock. Now, what we want to go over before we start this, you know, she's there she is, there's our girl, Oprah. Uh, our ingredients are crust with enriched wheat flour, ferrous sulfate, thiamine mononitrate, vitamin B1, riboflavin, Folic acid, cauliflower puree, extra virgin olive oil, water, oat fiber, contains less than 2% of salt, yeast, sugar, ascorbic acid. Uh, then it's got your cheese, but yeah. <laughs> so it could just be just cauliflower. It's got all that other goodness in there. It does contain wheat milk. So yeah. Let's, we're going to give this a go and see what it tastes like. I'm curious to see what it tastes like. Um, I was actually given to this by a coworker, so I said I would do a review, and here we go. All right, well, here's our pizza. This is the frozen version. Um, here's your crust. You can tell it's, it's definitely a different kind of crust. So let's go ahead and put it in the oven. I think it says 400, 400 degrees for approximately... 18 to 21 minutes or until golden edge of until the edge of the crust is golden so let's go put her in all right here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven and it's golden brown so <laughs> like touching the crust like ooh, i don't know i've never had cauliflower crust pizza before to even um you know to compare but you know it's our girl oprah here so she's not going to lead me astray so all right i'm going to cut this up and then we're going to taste it all right i have my pizza here i'm going to try my uncured pepperoni Ooh, that tastes weird i don't know if i've ever had uncured pepperoni before why can't i have the regular pepperoni is that bad Let's give her a little crust review here, because really, this is what we're curious about. She, we, I told you she puts a lot of chemicals in here to get what she gets, but. I'm trying to I'm trying to give you like, you know. I mean the crust is okay, but there's a taste that's kinda like I don't know if it's the uncured pepperoni that kinda goes with it, but it does not no, Oprah no. Sorry, Oprah. I don't know if I can. Um Is it a good alternative? I suppose, but Looking at the number of carbs that are in their base is probably just regular pizza. I don't have a regular pizza to compare to. I don't think you're really saving that much, and it's lacking. It's got a weird aftertaste to it. So I have to give the Oprah cauliflower pizza. I'll, I'll go as far as a four out of ten. That it's like a three and a half. I'm rounding up to four. So there you go. If you're in the market for an Oprah pizza, there's my review. You, you, you know what? You are stuck and you are pissed off. You got a chip on your shoulder. I strongly suspect it's frustration and you're pissed off at yourself and you're taking it out on everybody else. Okay.